Relaxium. Is it a uh, a new sex cult? No, that's Nexium. This is some sort of sleep medicine as seen on TV. And I took it last night for the first time. I got this for my dad because they're cutting him off of his sleep medicine. And I've been seeing it. And so it just made sense to get something that would work for him instead of the last time. He had been on some medicine for like 30 years. And when he was going to the very special pain doctor that they have now so that you can get your pain medicine, if they're going to give it to you or not. Of course, you have to be genetically tested. You have to have your hair profiled. You have to have, you can't get any pain medicine if you're using any marijuana substances, even though they use those to treat pain in other places. You will be immediately cut off. You will not be able to get your stuff again. You'll have to wait three years to get back in a program. or It's pretty fucking severe. And they do all this to older people who... I saw this guy, my dad, when they took... The, he was eight days awake without... Like, he could not sleep. And if you stay awake for eight days... You're not, you're not okay. You're not all right. I, one time, that is my, that's my limit of time that I've stayed awake. Yes, I did it using performance enhancing shit. No, I would never do it again. It was horrible. I remember, I remember where I was. I was at work in Oklahoma and I was trying to turn a bolt Way up in the air, somebody, a buddy of mine was in the, uh, the lift across from me and he saw, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm trying to get my damn wrench on this bolt. He's like, you're a whole foot away from it. My eyes were so jabberwocky crazy like that, <laughs> that I couldn't, I, I couldn't get the wrench on the bolt. So I know, I know the dire straits of being eight days awake. My dad was rabbit ass crazy. And he got him to give him his medicine back and then they fired him from the doctor. And he's still yet to get pain medicine. Now for somebody that was in an accident and fucked up like he is fucked up and he's not going to ever be better again. He's got a really fucked up back condition and sciatic nerve shit. And he's got degenerative discs, which begin to pinch in on his spinal cord in certain areas, and it fucks you up. These are the facts. Old people. Now, as a young person, I try to take care of myself a little better, but then again, you know, everyone that's younger is a dumbass. To some degree, we act like we're not, we're not as uh, feeble as our predecessors this is how humans have been for the since the dawn of time the youths make fun of the old people and then they find themselves old and then they're all fucked up and shit it is the cycle of life so it only stands to reason i'll try to help him out now i like to take these medicines too because sometimes i need good sleep actually i have not been able to sleep good in quite a while. I flip and flop and do all kinds of shit. Most of it's my fault. I understand. But here's something interesting that makes no sense to me. It seems a little extreme. It's the numbers that they put on these facts on the bottom here. Like first one, fall asleep faster, 140%. Do you need to ever exceed 100%? Here's the ruin. Sleep longer without interruption. 266%? What the fuck? What are they basing this study on? Wake refreshed and alert. 69%. Now I got that one. I didn't fall asleep till very, very late. 
the hard chemical sleeping medicine that they give him, he gives me every once in a while, and I take it. If I bite the thing in half, within 30 minutes, I start feeling like this, and I can slowly make it into my bed and maybe get my covers on before I pass the fuck out. So I understand that one. Improved concentration. 80%. Why would you... I guess I understand why that's at the bottom of the lip, lip, list. Drug-free and non-habit for me. Well, then that's great. It says, take two vegan capsules. What the fuck is a vegan capsule? Are they talking about the capsule? Is the actual capsule made out of vegetables? Why, yes, I think so. Okay, when I first read that, I'd never read that before. So maybe I'm fucked up. To some degree, I know this about... I know myself. And the hilariousness of today, which is already playing out, is what's on the TV is very hard foreshadowing what's playing on if I have, say, my my playlist. I watch the certain news when I wake up, and there's a series of shows because people put out their shows at certain times. Makes sense, right? You know, there's a lady in Australia. She puts out her show. If I see it is in the evening, like say six or seven o'clock. I know it's probably the crack of dawn in Australia. And I know I'm roughly right, but not, not, I don't know entirely, but I pretty much have a general feel. The shows that come on that are English people, they come on at certain times. It may be the morning over there, but it's evening over here of the previous day. So there's some weird wacky shit going on because obviously there's a time frame wherever you are on the globe. That's what time it is now. It's the time of now versus when you're getting a delay. There, there's some playing on that going on. It feels like it's from something intelligent enough to know that we can notice it. It's very strange because I watched this one show. It's sort of a new show. It's just, you know, when I get suggestions for new shows, I check them out and see how it is. And it's this girl. Which I guess she likes anime. I don't know a fucking thing about anime. I don't. So she goes to explain some of the, some of the shit. I'm not anti-anime. I just, I, I don't know anything about it. You know, if you're using Japanese words to describe characters in the anime, and you go to describe what that character, what that means, then I, I'm probably going to listen. And I listen to them. And they were talking about some shit on uh, Skinwalker Ranch. Because they're doing a show on that. And it's I guess it's making its way out to the greater world. And there is, there's some weird shit going on at Skidmalker Ranch, no doubt. One of the things that made the crossover, because of another show was playing, it's called The Paranormal Punchers. And they had a show, and they, they never put out shows. And they've already triggered my red flags for, you know, everything in our culture is, is wrecked. Because the CIA had to get their fucking dirty ass hands on everything. Everything is infiltrated. And as soon as I pick up on it, I don't want to, I don't even want to, I don't want to listen to it anymore. I don't. But everything's affected. But when I notice it, when I notice it, and you do when they say certain things, I just don't want to listen anymore. And from across the, the room, I'm in my dad's room bringing him some shit for breakfast. And I can hear my my um, show, the people talking on the show, start saying, dire wolf, dire wolf. And that was what I let the girl know. She said, a large dog was shot by the Americans. You know, English have a different culture. They don't, they don't have guns like we do. And 
I think it was Sargon of Akkad on the Lotus Eaters. He's like, it's not our culture. And I was like, well, that seems a little bit extreme. But it is. It's not their culture to, to have guns. They taste their fucking... They taste their victims. And America will just blow your ass away. We're still kind of okay with that. If you're going to do violence, we'll fucking blow you away. But we'll put flowers on your 